Hello, this is Jack Sheffield, Jack the Exam Guy, taking you through another question about the plans. This one, we're going to be looking at the stairs. All right, there's a, uh, <clears throat> a chance you'll get asked a question. You have to uh, calculate something regarding the stairs. So we're going to take a look at them. All right, so here is a, a detail on sheet 10 of 15, some interesting information that might uh, might come in handy. Um, for one thing, it's going to tell you how high it is from the first floor line to the second floor line, second floor line to the third floor line, and so forth. You'll note that there is a larger dis uh, distance, a larger height of the first floor than the second floor. The second thing I want to pay, I want you to pay attention to is this right here. It says 14 risers, 14 risers here, 14 risers here, and let's count them up. Let's count up. Let's count up the stairs because because there's a riser at the bottom and a riser at the top going up to the platform that you know the turnaround platform up here. There's actually the landing we might call it. There's actually one less stair than there is risers, so we can count them: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13. Mm, okay, so we have 13 there. And then, of course, we're going to have 13 there. And then, since this is 12, uh, 12 risers here, there's going to be 11 here and 11 here. And 11 on, uh, so that's 22 on the second to the third. So there's also going to be 22 from the third to the fourth. So these are all good things to know. All right. There's also, it says something right here at the bottom. Treads and risers, all stair um, are four foot ten inches wide. Okay, so that's all stair runs are four are four foot ten inches wide, and it terminates at the roof. Okay, so our treads and risers, all stair runs are four foot ten inches wide. So four foot ten, that's another thing we need to know. If we're going to do some calculating. All right, so here we go. Um, and then here's a detail. Here's another detail on sheet 12 of 15. So we saw one detail where it gives us a big cross section of the stairs themselves. And here's a detail. Okay, so let's take a look. So we have a stair here. And if we look very carefully, we want to know what the dimension of this stair is. We're going to pour concrete here. So we, when we start here, what you got to, you got to really pay attention. You start here is where you start measuring. You come here to 12, and then another one to 13. So your actual stair is 13 inches deep. 13 inches deep. Now we know it's four foot 10 inches wide, right? And then how thick how how thick is it? And this is not very easy to read over here, but it's an inch and a half thick. All right, and you might have this on the exam where they're really hard to read, but you'll you'll need to kind of remember that your stairs are generally an inch and a half thick. Okay, so inch and a half thick. 13 inches deep and four foot 10 inches wide. Hey, okay, so now we've got some stuff to work with. And then we have a plan view. Um, this is the first floor plan. This is sheet three. And what does that tell us? So well, that tells us that there are two sets of stairs. So you gotta be careful about that. Lots of things that go into looking at these stairs and counting the stairs. So, how many stairs are there from the first floor elevation to the top of the second floor, top of the second floor in the building? So, if you want to give this a shot, you can hit the pause button and then come back and see how you did. So, here we go. Once again, we have two sets of stairs. And we count them up. We already counted these up. We had 13, because this is 14 here. So we have 13 and 13. 13 and 13 is 26. And then 22, because this was 11 and 11, because that's a 12 there, and that's a 12 there. So we have 26 and 22, 28, 48. And then there's two stairwells, so there's 96. 96 stairs altogether. There you go. 13 and 13, 11, 11 times 2. 
is 96. Very good. That's an easy one. Okay, they get harder for sure. How many yards of concrete are required for the stair treads from the finished floor to the top of the second floor of the building? So now we're going to go with the same ones we just counted, but I want to know how much, how many cubic yards of concrete. Sometimes we just say yards and we have to realize that they mean cubic yards. Yards of concrete are always cubic yards. Okay, so go ahead and hit the pause button if you want to give it a shot yourself and see how you did. Come on back. Okay, so once again, we know we got 96, So, but that's okay. We'll deal with that in a minute. So let's look. So it's 4 foot 10. So we can either convert everything to feet or convert everything to inches and go back to inches later. Generally, we like to go in feet, though, because feet times feet times feet is really the best way to go. And then it's easy to convert into cubic yards. But you can go into cubic inches if you want. But remember... When you get cubic inches to to um, convert uh, cubic inches to cubic uh, cu to cubic feet, there's like uh, 12 times 12 times 12 cubic inches in a cubic foot. What's 12 times 12 times 12? Well, 12 times 12 is 144. And then I'm actually, actually grabbing my calculator out right now because I can't remember that number. 144 times times 12 is 1728. So if you were if you were going to work in inches, you'll have to remember or at least calculate out that it's 700, 1728 cubic inches on a cubic foot, and then you'll have to convert to cubic yards. So once again, we usually start in cubic feet or at least in feet feet times feet times feet and get cubic feet instead of converting to inches. But as you can do it either way. You can do it either way. <clears throat> okay. As long as you obey the rules and make sure that when you're multiplying, you're always multiplying the same unit. Inches times inches times inches or feet times feet times feet. If you mix those up and you're, you're, you're multiplying feet times inches, you'll get a... Um, a number that means it's meaningless. Okay, so here we go. Um, once again, we have our dimensions, which are 13 inches by an inch and a half uh, by four foot ten, right? Okay, so let's give let's um, go on. So what we have is we have four foot ten. So this is all. So four foot ten times 13 inches. That's the depth times an inch and a half. That's the thickness. Of course, four foot ten is the width, is the width. So let's go ahead and convert everything into feet. Like I said, four point eight three ten inches is 0 0.83, so that becomes four point eight three. Thirteen inches is thirteen divided by twelve, which is one point oh eight three, and then one point five inches. Remember to convert inches into feet. It's it's one point five. It's dividing by twelve, so it's one point five divided by twelve point one two five feet. You multiply it out you'll get 65 cubic feet, excuse me, 0.65 cubic feet per tread. 0.65 times 96, you have 62.4 cubic feet. 62.4 divided by 27, just a little bit more than 2 cubic yards, going to be 2.3 cubic yards. That's a lot, but it's definitely doable if you just had somebody walk you through it. Not a big deal. Okay, 2 point, how many, um, 2.33 cubic yards. Well, I think what I did here, okay, I went ahead and did it did it in inches. So if you wanted to do it in inches, you could have. Remember, four foot ten is fifty-eight inches. Thirteen inches already in inches. Inch and a half is already in inches. So I got one hundred one thousand one hundred thirty-one cubic inches. Now one hundred one thousand one hundred thirty-one times ninety-six stairs equals one hundred eight thousand five hundred seventy-six cubic inches. And then remember, we had to divide by that magic number that I couldn't even remember myself a minute ago, 1728. 108, 576 divided by 1728, there's 62.83 cubic feet. And then 62.83 divided by 27 is 2.33. So you could do it either way and get the same answer. You could convert everything into inches or you can convert everything into feet. But once again, that's where the tricky part comes in is there's 1728 cubic inches in a cubic foot. Um, and uh, it makes it a little more uh, a little more complicated, but 